Hey, what's up, you guys? It's John D. with eFit Tracker. Uh, I got a couple of bloggers that asked me to do a video on my HP touchpad, and the reason why is because I recently overclocked my processor to 1.5 gigahertz. So here it is, but before I begin, a little bit about me. I'm not a fanboy. I just like the gadgets. Also, I'm formerly a productive control analyst, and um, I like products that improve efficiency. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's look at the applications that you need to install before you overclock your device. Now, if you do decide to overclock your device, remember, you are taking a risk of voiding your warranty if something goes wrong. Um, so be ready, be prepared to take that risk. First of all, you need these three applications to get to 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, you could Wikipedia WebOS internals for more information. I'm not going to get into all the details on how to install it. You have Preware, you have Governor, and then you have the actual Uber kernel that actually speeds up the processor. So what I'm going to do is press Governor, Governor, and uh, confirm that we're at 1.5 gigahertz. Okay, right now we are not at 1.5 gigahertz. So I need to set the profile to my profile. It's on conservative right now. We don't want that. We want. Oh, let's choose one of these. Okay, now it says 1.5 gigahertz, and this is confirmed that it says 1.5. There it is. Okay, so we're ready to go. Let's open up a couple of applications. What I'm going to do is open up about 12 applications. I'm going to go through a little bit of pinch and zooming. I'm going to go a little bit over navigating and open up a couple online applications and see how it handles the web. So let's go ahead and start with email, and there you go. Uh, let's see how the scroll responds. Pretty good. Let's scroll. And let's open up a couple of these comments. Um, now, of course, I got swamped on Facebook last night, but let's see how it handles navigating through multiple comments. Let's see how it expands. You guys got to forgive me because I'm on the side of my touchpad right now because of the camera. So I may miss a few buttons. Okay, I'd say responds fairly good. All right, let's keep that open and let's open up a couple more. How about the calendar? Calendar was a disappointment when I first got this touchpad because it was really, really slow, but as you can see, it loaded fairly well. And let's see how it scrolls. Okay, there you go. Okay, not bad. It may take a while for it depends on how you load your calendar. If you load up with a lot of entries, of course, it's going to be slow. Let's see how it expands. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, much improved. Let's keep the calendar open, and let's move on to photos. Okay, that was instantaneously. And let's go ahead and scroll through some of these photos. Resolution looks good. It's not rendering any photos. Nice, nice. This is an old white water raft trip okay very smooth uh, now I want to open up glimpse so let's go to my applications and there's glimpse it will open up a Twitter feed so we are connecting to the internet the internet connection might be slow here but as you can see the connection is doing pretty good, well today and there you have your Twitter feed uh, let's keep going Kindle 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 and give it a few seconds. And we have where we left off on our book. I'm keeping all these applications open. Um, as you can see, the vertical scrolling on the desktop is pretty good as well. All right, moving on. CBS Sports. Okay, this is a tough one. There's going to be more graphics here. There might be even Flash. Okay, CBS Sports. And let's choose, how about NFL? And how about scoreboard? See how it is football season, by the way. Wondering how those Niners are doing. Okay, and there you have it. Got all the logos. That was pretty cool. We got Seattle, San Francisco coming up Sunday, 9-11. Ooh, September 11th. All right, let's keep going. So we got two windows here. Uh, let's do a little bit of uh, scrolling and navigating. Um, how about let's pop here. Pop back to Kindle. So I'm doing the swipe up. I'm not using the button. So sometimes I may miss. All right, let's go on. Where to eat is my next application I'm going to open. 
Okay, maybe a little lagging there, but not too bad. It has to go, okay, allow once. So it has to go to maps. It has to enable GPS. Okay, you guys don't want to see where I'm located. Epicurious, a uh, great application if you want to cook authentic food. Let's go through some of these recipes here. Summer dinners. Okay, come on, respond. Okay, there we go. Now, it's prob possibly the internet connection is slowing this down right now. But as you can see, it's not that bad. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Um, how about box.net? Of course, if you buy an HP touchpad, it is $3.99 this weekend only, and you get 50 gigs of cloud space at box.net. Okay, that was instantaneous. Okay, moving right along, we are going to open up a web page and see how the pinch to zoom functions operate. Um, of course, I opened up my website and it looks like it improved. I don't know about you guys, but um, my fingers are kind of sticky right now. But I'd say that's uh, fairly responsive. Um, let's move on to something where there's text. Let's hit a couple of these arrows here. All right, let's get out of that web page. A uh, couple more. YouTube, I think, is an important one. Now, remember, I have all the applications still open in the background. And it may slow the device down. Um, let's open up a video and see how it handles the video playing simultaneously as we navigate to a few of the opened applications. Okay, YouTube looks exactly like your desktop, by the way. Um, let's go ahead and hit a video. I just hope there's no advertisement. Oh, there's advertisement. Okay, there you go. Let's turn up the volume a little. Why is it in Spanish? I don't know. I guess when you expand it, uh, it affects the, the performance a little. All right. What's cool is you could listen to this video while you navigate and, uh, you know, do your business. You could read and listen to the video, come back to that video and watch it. Okay, so uh, that's about it. I'm just going to close out these applications, and I hope you like my uh, little review on the 1.5 gigahertz upgrade. Let's give you a little bit of Angry Birds as we close out here. My favorite feature. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching.